here. You know, yesterday the Obama administration declared that the Palestinian resistance actions of abducting an invading Israeli soldier was a barbaric action. It seems President Obama and his administration consider the abduction of an invading soldier from an occupying army to be barbaric. But the massacre of more than 1,600 Palestinians in their neighborhoods, in their homes, in their schools, in their hospitals, in their playgrounds, on their beaches, is not barbaric. We need to tell Mr. Obama what barbaric is. Barbaric is the Israeli destruction of more than 70 families in Gaza. More than 70 Palestinian families have been lost. Barbaric is that 300,000 children in Gaza have lost either their home or a loved one. 300,000 children. Barbaric is that hospitals are targeted. Six out of nine hospitals in Gaza are closed and Israel is threatening to attack the rest. Barbaric is that entire neighborhoods have been destroyed, labeled what one journalist called apocalyptic. Barbaric is we have 500,000 missiles dropped on an area smaller than 260 square kilometers. Barbaric is that it has been the Zionist policy to destroy the economy in Gaza. That is why they bombed the electrical power plant. That is why they are bombing the water infrastructure. That is why yesterday they destroyed an ice cream factory. Barbaric is the siege that has been imposed on Gaza since 2005 and the fencing off of Gaza since 1995. Barbaric is that the objective of this siege is deliberately to destroy the economy of Palestinians in Gaza, to cripple them, to break them. That, Mr. Obama, is barbarism. <laughs> barbaric, Mr. Obama, is what is coming out of Israel right now, which is open calls for the genocide of Palestinians in Gaza. This is what is written in Israeli newspapers. This is what is called by the current Deputy Prime Minister who calls for that against the Palestinians in Gaza. But none of this is new for us Palestinians. We have seen it before. We have seen it before. We are not surprised. I wish we were. But none of the things that have happened against us in Gaza or in Ramallah or in Quds are new. Barbaric, Mr. Obama, is Zionism. Zionism, which stated just what Golda Meir said, Israel's fourth prime minister, that there is no such thing as Palestinian people. Barbaric is to deny our identity and to deny our existence. Barbaric is what Menachem Weigand said in 1969 when he called Palestinians beast walking on two legs. Barbaric is what historian Benny Morris says, a historian who recognizes that every single Israeli village and Israeli town is built on Palestinian villages and Palestinian towns, and yet he justifies this genocide and this ethnic cleansing, and he recently called for the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians in Gaza. That is barbaric. that officers have been given legal advice that allows them, and I quote, to target large numbers of civilian casualties. And this statement was not released in 2014. This statement was from 2009. From 2009. Barbaric is what Netanyahu says when he says, we must hit them, not just one blow, but blows that are so painful that the price will be too heavy to born. And he said that in 2012. That is barbaric. Barbaric is when they ask.